tena kwamba nimefika hapa kwa sababu nimealikwa na wa, wanakaaji wa eneo hili na eneo la Nyandarwa kaunti ya Nyandarwa wale ambao ni wanajubili wanaazimio wengine walikuwa wanawania viti tofauti tofauti kupitia tikiti zetu wameona mikutano kule na lobby ya azimio tukisema mambo ambayo walikuwa nataka ni yafafanue na tumeweza kukaa na wao nimewaambia vizuri e, e, maana ya mikutano ambayo tumekuwa tukifanya chini ya kiongozi wetu wa chama cha Azimio Raila Amolo Odinga zile tunaita People's Baraza na wao pia wamesema mambo mengi a, e, hata pia kuomba kama inawezekana tuwe na mkutano wa People's Baraza hapa Nyandarwa lakini hayo ni mambo ambayo tutaweza kuambiwa na kiongozi wetu kule Nairobi Raila Amolo Odinga na nikitaka tu wenyewe wajiseme kwa mambo ambayo ya wamekuwa akiwakela na hasa kufafanua mengine ambayo huenda ikawa wengi hawajui. Mkitupa nafasi wawili watatu wanaweza sema of course ile ya muhimu ni kwamba umeona wamebabana na masufuria na, vik, na vikombe na masahani na ni kusema kwamba iko jaa. Na sio jaa ya tubo peke yake. Si jaa ya tubo peke yake ni jaa aina aina yote lakini hata tumbo chakula kukula naweza kuambia kwamba hata hapa Nyandarwa kuna hiyo hiyo jaa na sio hapa ni Kenya mzima kwa sababu serikali kama haiko eh, imana na tunasema hatuna serikali kwa sababu ile iko ni watu walipitia mlango ya dirisha wale kama tuko na watu wamekalia viti ya serikali na hawaelewi vile serikali inatakana kufanya lazima jaa itokee ha, majina naitwa Rose Mutahi kutoka Daragwa nini constituency in Nyandarwa county ningesema ya kwamba kusema ya kwamba kwanza naongelea mambo ya hii unga hii unga tuliambiwa bibiria ikiwekwa chini maisha itarudi chini hii unga saa hii natoka 200 na kumi. supermarket hizi duka za kawaida za huko mashinani ni mbili na hamsini. na tuliwaambiwa sasa bibiria ikiwekwa chini maisha itarudi chini tuko na sukari iko hapa kilo moja ni mia na hamsini na tuliambiwa itarudi chini. Tuko na mafuta iko hapa. Hata chakula hatupiki ni 200 1 Hii ni nusu. Hii ni nusu. 500 ml. 202. Na tuliambiwa Biblia ikiwekwa chini maisha itarudi chini. Niongelee mambo ya Rida Mama. Tuliambiwa tutaondolewa Rida Mama. Tunaondolewa Rida Mama sisi wa mama tuende wapi? Tunawaambiwa tuzaane. Sasa chakula hakuna. Unazaaje na bila una chakula? Hospitali dio hiyo. Rida mama ilikuwa inatusimamia mambo ya hospitali. Sasa wa, watu wanazalia kwa nyumba. Juu Rida mama tumwambia tutaondolewa. Niongelee mambo ya watoto wa, wa, wa wako nyumbani. Hakuna pesa ya school fees. Wazazi ni kulia tu. Ni kulia tu. Watoto wako nyumbani hakuna school fees. Watoto tutapeleka aje. Kuna unga? Hatuna. Rida mama hatuna shakura dio hiyo. Na tunasema tuna serikali. Ni serikali gani? Walisema wamekuja kufanya kazi yenye wa, wenye walikuwa hawakuwa wamefanya kazi sasa ni kazi gani wanatufanyia everything up, up. everything up kutoka wachukue hii serikali tumelia ya kutosha enough is enough either wa change ama watoke kwa mbunge kunya wenye wanaweza kalia wenye walifanya ni wao wanajua nikipenda kusema ati sisi kama wanaasimio hapa Nyandarwa tuko imara na tumesimama kidete na chama yetu na tunajua ya kwamba safari imekuwa ndefu. Tumekupatana na ungumu mwingi katika safari hii. Lakini tunajua mwishoe tutafauru kwa sababu kuna Mungu mbinguni. Na ni lazima tutafauru. Kwa sababu tunajua ya kwamba sisi tudijitokeza, tukapiga kura, lakini vile tulikuwa tunafikiria ama tunadhania, tunaona mambo haikuenda vile tulikuwa tunafikiria. Lakini tunajua kwa sababu kuna watu ambao wanataka wanataka ukweli ni lazima heshima e, e, sheria itachukua mkondo yake na tunajua ya kwamba tutashida kwa sababu tuko na sauti na, na tunajua ya kwamba watu ambao wale wameshinda ni wale wengi kulingana na katiba ya Kenya hii 
na wale wameshidwa ndio wanaenda kwa minority na lakini wale wameshida and so we, we say majority wins the, the government kwa hivyo tunajua ya kwamba hivi karibuni tutapata ushidi wetu asanteni my name is john kerogo but famously known as crossed i'm from nyandarwa and i also come from kipipiri constituency wanjohi ward Mine here today is to enlighten my fellow youths and also to warn this illegitimate, illegitimate government. Uh, my concern is about the help. These people, we heard their leader saying that every parent can educate their child from primary, secondary to university. And at the same time, they are coming to lie to us that they want to increase help. They want to increase help in a form of another uh, initiative. We want to warn them and tell them that Help is not a help. This is a loan that we are going to pay. So they are not giving us a favor. This is a loan that we will going to pay and when they touch it, we as the youths of all corners of this country, we are going to stand against it. Number two, we are going to warn them on how they want to privatize uh, uh, government institutions or parastatals. This is a warning to them. These are public institutions they are not private institutions whenever they make them private they are going to sterilize everything about employment about the quality and everything these are public institutions and we want them to remain public another thing is about uh, illicit brews we had them we had them in televisions closing uh, or, or denying uh, alcohols to enter into the state house but we saw them coming and opening them here in Mount Kenya region especially, they opened other six companies. This is a mean, uh, this is a, a way of killing our youths in another way. These people, they are trying to tell us that they want to finish alcohol while they are opening companies that sell illicit brews. They are allowing them to come destroy our children. This is a government of illegitimacy and we are not allowing that to happen, to happen to us. The last point that I'm going to derive here is about the way these people lied to us. They lied to youths. They said that they are going to create jobs. They told us that once they put the Bible down, we are going to they are going to simplify the living standards. But the living standards right now is very unaffordable. Look at this. They closed Kazim Tani, an initiative that used to help thousands and thousands of youths, and they brought another new initiative called uh, what is it called? These loans. Hustler Fund. Tell us how Hustler Fund is going to help us. Youths are not employed. They are taking loans to do what? Even if you go to a company, they first give you a priority. They want to see if you have an established job so that they can give you a loan. But these people, they want to make us zuzus, vuzus, people who cannot work, people who cannot operate, people who will have struggles in the future. So we are warning this government and we are telling them they should watch very careful all they are handling the, 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 the youths of this country.